the story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. Long ago, in faraway Arabia, there lived a young boy named Aladdin. One day, a stranger took Aladdin by the hand. I am your father's old friend. Come with me and you shall be rich, the stranger said. That evening, the stranger and Aladdin rested outside the village. After building a fire, the stranger threw some magic powder into the flames and... The ground broke open. This is the entrance to a large cave, the stranger told Aladdin. Go down these stairs to the very end. There, you will find a lamp burning. Take the lamp, put out the flame, and bring the lamp to me. Here is a ring. Wear it. It will protect you. Hurry now. Although frightened, Aladdin went down the stairs. He stopped to rest in a strange kind of underground forest. Finally, Aladdin reached the end of the passage. And there it was, a beautiful golden lamp. Aladdin picked it up, put out the fire, and began the long climb back up the stairs. But he did not know that the stranger was no friend of Aladdin's. Rather, he was an evil, selfish magician who wanted the lamp for himself. Give me the lamp, growled the magician. Aladdin was determined to keep the lamp until he was safely outside the cave. The magician became angrier and angrier. Finally, the magician threw some more magic powder on a fire. The ground closed up. Aladdin and the lamp were sealed in the cave. Poor Aladdin. What was he to do now? He soon became very cold. He began to rub his hands together to keep them warm. And accidentally, he rubbed the magic ring. A genie appeared. I am the genie of the magic ring. I am your servant. Anything you want will be yours. Although frightened, Aladdin managed to stammer, I w w want out of here. I just want to see the sun and the trees again. The genie blew and blew and blew. Aladdin found himself back home. He hid the lamp under his turban. Later, thinking he might sell the lamp, he carried it outside the town and began to polish it. He had barely touched the lamp when a large genie appeared. Master, I am the genie of the lamp. I am a very powerful genie. I can do anything that you command. What do you wish? I'm hungry, and I want something to eat, was all that Aladdin could say. Here is the food you ordered, master. Aladdin had never seen such fine food. After eating, he returned to town. There, he saw two men riding two white horses at the town gate. Make way for the princess, the horseman shouted. <coughs> Aladdin hid inside a large basket where he could watch the princess pass. Suddenly, the caravan stopped <coughs> and out stepped the beautiful daughter of the king. Everyone bowed to her. <laughs> Aladdin fell in love with the princess. But what could he, 
a poor common boy do? Maybe the genie could help me. He rubbed the lamp and the genie did appear. Oh, genie, I want so much to meet the princess, but I need some fine clothes first. I'll need some rich gifts for the king. Your wish is my command, master. It was quite a procession that Aladdin, with the help of the genie, of course, sent to the king. Handsomely dressed servants and fine white elephants carrying jewels soon arrived at the palace. Aladdin, dressed in splendid royal clothing, presented 40 trays of precious stones to the king. And sir, Aladdin told him, there are elephants and many more jewels for you. Ask what you will, Aladdin, the king said to him. And if it be within my power, you shall have your wish. I should like to marry your daughter, sir. And so Aladdin and the princess were married. Aladdin called forth his genie by rubbing the lamp again. I must have a palace for my princess. Let me have the largest and finest palace you can produce, Aladdin commanded. The palace was a large, beautiful place with many rooms. Aladdin was very pleased with himself. But he didn't know that outside a stranger was watching. The stranger was none other than the wicked magician, and he had a plan to get the magic lamp from Aladdin. The magician's idea was to trick one of Aladdin's servants into trading the magic lamp for a bright, shiny new lamp. The trick worked, and the magician got the magic lamp. Next, he rubbed the lamp and ordered the genie to take Aladdin's wife and the palace far away. When this happened, the king was so angry at the disappearance of his daughter and the palace he ordered that Aladdin be thrown into prison. Aladdin didn't know what to do. Then he remembered that he still had the magic ring. Quickly, he rubbed the ring, and there was the genie. I command you to get me out of here and to take me to my princess. The genie whisked Aladdin away to where the princess was, but he still didn't have his palace. What would the king say? Aladdin needed the lamp back. Aladdin found the magician was now living in a splendid palace, eating fine foods. The magician was so busy eating and drinking that he didn't see Aladdin sneaking in Aladdin found the lamp resting on a high ledge. Taking it quickly, he rubbed it, and when the genie appeared, ordered the palace to be returned. Then, Aladdin ordered the wicked magician to be sent so far away that he could never return. That night, Aladdin quietly returned to the king's palace and told the king all that had happened. Aladdin and the princess lived happily ever after. <laughs>